Hi friends, how are you all? I hope you all are good. My name is Sanju and welcome to my channel English with Sanju. And tonight we will do the essay room of one's own and we are at it at page 14. So let's begin. The sight of the abrupt and truncated animal padding softly across the quadrangle changed by some fluke of subconscious intelligence the emotional life for me. It was as if someone had let fall a shade. Perhaps the excellent hawk was relinquishing its hold. Certainly as I watched the mines cat paws in the middle of the lawn as if it to question the universe something seemed lacking something seemed different but what was lacking what was different I asked myself listening to the talk and to answer that question I had to think myself out of the room back into the past before the war Indeed, I had to set before my eyes the model of another luncheon party held in rooms not very far distant from these but different. Everything was different. Meanwhile, the talk went on among the guests who were many and young. Some of the sex, some of that, it went on seemingly, it went on agreeably really amusingly and as it went on I set it against the background of other talk and as I marched the two together I had no doubt that one was the descendant the legitimate heir of the other nothing was changed nothing was different Sev, only here I listened with all my ears not entirely to what was being said but to murmur or current behind behind it yes okay just hold on give me a moment okay freely amusingly as a background of the other talk and i matched the two together i had no doubt that one was the descendant the legitimate head of the other nothing was changed nothing was different save only here I listened with all my ears not entirely to what was being said but to the murmur or current behind it yes that was it the change was there before the war at lunch on party this party like this people would have said precisely the same things but they would have sounded different because in those day days they were accompanied by a sort of humming noise not article not articulate but musical exciting we change the value of words themselves could one set that humming noise to words perhaps with the help of the poets one could. A book lay beside me and opening it I turned casually enough to Tennyson and here I found Tennyson was singing. Oh, so these are words of Tennyson and not Virginia Woolf I suppose. There has fallen a splendid tear from fashion I'll read it back. There has fallen a splendid tear from the passion flower at the gate. She is coming, my dove, my dear, she is coming, my life, my fate. The red rose cries, she is near, she is near. And the white rose weeps, she is late. The lurks boys listens, I hear, I hear. 
and the lily whispers, I wait. Was that what men hummed at lunch and parties before? The war and the woman? My heart is like a singing bird whose nest is in watered shoot. My heart is like an apple tree whose boots are bent with thick set fruit. My heart is like a rainbow shell that paddles in a halcyon. My heart is gladder than all these because my love is to come to me. Right. Was that what women hummed at lunch party before the war? There was something to ludicrous in thinking of people humming such things even under their breath at lunch and parties before the war and I burst out laughing. Had no had to explain my laughter by pan by pointing at the max cat who did look like a little absurd poor beast without without a tail in middle of the lawn. Was he born so or had he lost his tail in an accident? The tailless cat, though some are said to exist in the Isle of Man, is rarer than one thinks. It is a queer animal, queer rather than beautiful. It is strange what a difference a tail makes. You know the sort of things one says as lunch party breaks up and people are finding their coats and hats. This one, thanks to the hospitality of the host, had lasted far into the afternoon. The beautiful October day was fading and leaves were falling from the trees in the avenue as I walked through it. Gate after gate seemed to close with gentle final finality behind me. Innumerable beetles were fitting innumerable keys into well-oiled locks. The treasure house was being made secure for another night. After the avenue, one comes out upon a road, I forget its name, which leads you if you take the right turning along to Fernham. But there was plenty of time. Dinner was not till half past seven. One could almost do without dinner after such a lunch. It is strange how a scrap of poetry works in the mind and makes the legs move in time to it along the road those words there has fallen a splendid tear from the passion flower at the gate she is coming my dove my dear sang in my blood as i stepped quickly towards Heringley. and then switching into the other measure i sang where the waters are churned up by the by the wheel my heart is like a singing bird Whose nest is it in watered shoot? My heart is like an apple tree. What poets? I cried aloud as one does in the dusk. What poets? What poets they were? I think I can read one more page. Can I? Of course. In a sort of jealousy, I suppose, for my own age. Silly and absurd though these comparisons are, I went on to wonder if honestly one could name two living poets now as great as Tennyson and Christina Rossetti were then. Obviously, it is impossible, I thought, looking into those foaming waters to compare them. The very reason why that poetry excites one to such abandonment, abandonment, such rupture is that it celebrates some feeling that one used to have at luncheon parties 
before the war perhaps so that one responds easily familiarly without troubling to check the feeling or to compare it with any that one has now but the living poets express a feeling that is actually being made and torn out of us at the moment one does not recognize it in the first place often for some reason one fears it one watches it with keenness and compares it to jealousy and suspiciously with the old feeling that one knew hence the difficulty of modern poet modern poetry and it is because of this difficulty that one cannot remember more than two consecutive lines of any good modern poet for this reason that my memory failed me the argument flagged for want of material but uh, why i continued moving on towards headingly have we stopped humming under one breath at luncheon parties why has alfred cheesed to say she's coming my dove my dear why has christina cheesed to this word my heart is gladder than all these because my love is come to me so with this we wrap up the reading for today we are on page 17 and i think we studied four pages today 14 15 16 and 17 good still this essay has a total of 120 pages i want to read the ending i want to read out what's on the back page of this book lock up your libraries if you like but there is no gate no lock no bolt that that you can set up on the freedom of my mind if shakespeare had a sister as talented as he would she have got the same opportunities to develop her skill constructed around wolf's idea to write fiction a woman must have money and a room of her own this revolutionary work depicts a woman's pretty commands as she tr- struggles deep within for some place of her own where she can work without restrictions it brings forth the differences biases and conventional attitudes that have caused immense suffering to women across the centuries a major work of the 20th century feminist literature a room of one's own is an extended essay based on a series of lectures titled women and fiction delivered at two women's colleges in Cambridge more than more than half a century after its publication this book continues to be an inspiration for women across the globe uh, please uh, please like the video click on like comment for suggestions and feedback share it with every person you know subscribe and ask all your friends to subscribe and when you subscribe hit the bell icon so that you get all notifications from my channel till then it's bye from me sanju take good care of yourself your family don't forget your friends bye see you in the next video